Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. It is day 99 here on Funland. And before we get started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hello again. It is a beautiful day out today. However, we are not going to be spending the day outside. We are going to spend the day inside using the cherry blossom items again, but to do an indoor room build because I think that there are too many cute DIYs and items to let it go to waste. But first, we need to head up to Tangy's house because Tangy has decided that she needs to move on and see what's out there in the world. We wish her all the best, but let's go say our goodbyes before we head off to the house. Oh, her little orange and green house. I'm gonna miss it so much. I'm gonna miss her, but we do, like I said, we wish her all the best. There you are, subscriber. Thanks for your advice. Kind of obs, but I'm moving out. I owe you bunches, you know. I'm glad I got to see you one last time to say bye. Aw. Well, goodbye, Tangy. We're gonna miss you. This does open up a spot, though, which is exciting news. So we have that to look forward to. All right, this is the room that we are going to transform into something beautiful. As you can see, it has not been done since Valentine's Day, so it's definitely due for an upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our room designer app. All right, we are set. Let's create something beautiful. Now, I've done the indoors outdoors before, so I thought with this one, let's do the outdoors indoors and kind of make like a cute little, a kid's room, but like a camping room, but pretty and pink. Let's just see what we can come up with. Let's start though by getting these walls and floors done. All right, so for walls and floors, let's see what we have. Here we have it. We're using the cherry blossom trees walls, if I could speak, because we are trying to use as many of the cherry blossom DIYs as humanly possible, which means obviously we're gonna be using the cherry blossom floor DIY as well. I have that pre-crafted somewhere in here. There it is, it was hiding on me. Cherry blossom flooring, place on floor. Okay, so walls and floor complete. I think that looks really, really cute. Definitely outdoors, indoors. Let's go ahead and start decorating the walls. I'm gonna draw from my pockets first. We have a clock. Let's go ahead and put that up. We have many, many more from our pockets. So let's grab as many as we can. And I think we have one more for the wall. Perfect, all right, let's get started with this. I thought the these flowers look so pretty. Let's go ahead and put them, let's put them over here by our door. Kind of hang them up. I thought they were super pretty. There we go. That decorates the door. I think it looks really nice. Good. All right, our clock which is super, super cute. I thought let's put kind of, kind of in the middle here on the wall, right on the tree actually, looks really cute. Then we have two of these starry garlands, which I thought would look so adorable in the trees, kind of light up the room at night. Perfect. Easy, easy, I love it. So far, so good. All right, let's change our angle. Go back to the floor. Now I've got a bunch of items in my pocket that we need to try and fit into a small space. So let's start offloading and see where we can put them. Definitely need the fake trees. That is a must. Let's go ahead and place them right away. I'm thinking back wall. So we're definitely gonna have to rotate that. There we go. Oh, I think they look so cute. Just a little something extra. Perfect. All right. Looks good. I'm going to go back to my main view. All right. Let's continue unloading my pockets. Like I said, we have a ton of items that we need to put in here. I want to start though. I have a tent 
somewhere that I'd love to put down first so that we know where it's going. There it is. All right, let's start with our tent. Let's put that right off into the corner over here. I think that's perfect. And then we have some cherry blossom plants or branches, I guess they are called. And I love those, perfect as is. Good, okay, more stuff. I love this already, this is the cutest. I love the cherry blossom items, I can't get enough of them. I think this looks so good. All right, let's go from, I guess it doesn't matter what angle we're using. Let's continue to offload our pockets. We have so many items that I want to try and squeeze into such a small space. All right, let's work with these ones. I think the cherry blossom pile, I'm gonna go from a top view, would look really cute right in front of the tent. Kind of blends in with the floor, but it adds a little something and I think it's really great. The bonsai trees, let's put one off right here, I think. And then I actually kind of like the other one kind of grouped up with the other trees. So let's place it right there. We have these great lamps. And I think I just, I love the blossom lanterns. I think they're adorable. Let's go ahead and put one. There we go. Kind of in amongst the trees and I don't like it there. In and amongst the trees and the branches, that works. Oh, I love this, this is so cute. Such a fun indoor outdoor room. All right, we still have toys and items that need to put down, so let's continue. And a pink puppy. I tried to keep my color scheme with the toys and whatnot. Let's find a place, sorry, to kept the toys kind of the pinky white color because I think it works with the room. Have the picnic set. Let's move Mama Bear first. Put her off in the corner. Put our picnic set kind of over here by our tent. I think that works really well. I think Dolly can go over here, but we're going to rotate her. Our puppy plushie, so cute. Find a spot for him, right over here. Yeah, facing. And we have one of these pond stones, which I think are super, oh, that works. It rotated for me. I love the way this looks. This is such a cute room. It's super, super simple. It's easy to put together when you have all this stuff. It's just, so stunning though, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, the only thing I'm not digging on right away are these blossom lanterns and I'm thinking we can find a new home for them. Not a lot of space left in this room, but we will find somewhere. I'm thinking right in the center of the room. Kind of lights it up, lights up our little picnic. There we go, I love that. I love the tent, I love the flowers. The walls I kept really, really simple, like I said, because they don't need much. They, they have the cherry blossom trees and I think that looks beautiful. Oh look, when you turn off the lights, it's just so beautiful. I love it, I love the garland. I'm wondering, I think I might actually have another garland in my pockets. Let's go and take a look at the bottom, see if I do. If we do, I might wanna put one up on the back wall, brighten it up too. Once I get into my wall decor, egg garland, clocks. Oh, I do, yes, okay. Let's make that happen. Dari garland. Perfect. All right, let's find a spot for it. Right in the center, I think. Yes, then we'll change our view again. Oh, I like that. It lights up the back of the room. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. I love this room. I 
love the lamps. The lamps are throwing me. So I want them to be... Actually, let's try moving our pond stone. Kinda, well the lamps will be in the way, but I'm thinking we could put the lamps in the corners over here, get some more movability. And then we can move our rock kind of centrally located. That works so much better for me. That's more of like a picnic area. Oh, I love this. I am adoring this room. Like I said, it's a small room. It's a simple build, but I just, I love the cherry blossom items. I love the idea of the outdoors, indoors. I love that the walls, you can see the cherry blossom petals falling. I like the delicate light. I think it's perfect. I absolutely love it. Easy build, easy done. The room looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our app. Let Poppy come in. She's already in her jammies, as you can see. Here, we'll turn the room a bit so that we can see a little bit of everything. She's already in her jammies, ready to go in the tent. She's got her picnic set up. I think this is just such a beautiful room. I can't see anything I'd wanna change with it at all. I love it. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Well, that makes for an easy day 99. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I think it looks fantastic. I'm so happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to join me tomorrow. We have a villager hunt and it's also a special occasion. It is our day 100. So don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.